Prosím, Voldboy, ať moje angličtina dneska nestojí za úplný hovno. Díky, brácho. What is up, you two? My name is John, and today it's time to take another look at this list because it's been way too long and I've been having this list on my wall for like months now and it was supposed to be my second anniversary, you know, request list and I thought that I'm gonna finish that in like, I don't know, maybe two weeks but 20 songs is 20 songs and yeah, it's dragging out a little bit, not gonna lie. I'm extremely sorry about this delay. There is no really a reason behind this. It's just me being stupid and procrastinating and just not being able to focus on this list and finish it. But I gave a promise and even though I said no more promises, this is the one promise, at least this one, that I'm going to fulfill. And today we are going to react to a song and a band with a very interesting name and the band is Voodoo Kung Fu and the song is Mongol or Mongol, I'm actually not sure how it's pronounced in English but the song has 10 minutes and I actually looked up this band on Encyclopedia Metallum and the genre says extreme folk metal so that's gonna be interesting and these guys are from China and they are active since 2003, yeah actually 2003, uh, they had a different name before and oh my god, they, oh. So extreme folk metal sounds extremely interesting but right now without further ado, let's get into Voodoo Kung Fu Mongo Ozo. G Fuel, sponsor me. Here we go. Three, two, one, now. Ooh. Oh. I like your head. <laughs> oh, there is that distortion. Whoa. Hi. Pro singing. <laughs> Impressive vocal work so far. That is creepy. Okay. and the orchestra is it's like a movie Time for the Wudu Kung Fu. Oh man. What? This guy is scary. I pay Sudachin to Shun. What so you're a Shindo Sailor? 
我的在下啊，我的妈妈。I get a drum break vibe for a second there. This is the vocal style. Interesting. It's like a movie soundtrack, seriously. This feels like a Witcher 3 kind of. It would just fit in the game. Very folky, definitely. Oh my. <laughs> All right. Definitely quite an extreme vocal approach, but it works. <laughs> All right. Those tattoos, by the way. Danger Noodle. He can pull off many vocal techniques, that's impressive. <laughs> Those masks are intimidating. He's got a great range as well. Impressive. See? Spinals. Crazy. <laughs> that transition was cool. I don't know why I did that. Oh, he's got the scar right here. Maybe the kid was him. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the story. Bro! Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs>
that's that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Oh god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, apparently he likes danger noodles. Well, definitely always better, always better than spiders, at least in my opinion. Alright, and... Oh, it's not over. Sorry. Is that the voodoo kung fu master? Teach me your ways. Maybe that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. Maybe it's a part of a larger story that's just... That is just about to unfold in the next videos. Have no idea right now, but... Wow, that was a trip. That was a trip. Alright, so that was Voodoo Kung Fu. Mongol, or Mongol, actually. Again, not entirely sure how to pronounce this word in English, but if it would be in Czech, it would be Mongol. So there is that. Wow, okay, so there is a lot to go through in this song, so I'm just... I'll just try to keep it short and... The thing is, there was a lot of instruments, you know, a lot of changes, a lot of story in the video. By the way, the video was absolutely beautifully shot. The cine cinematography is absolutely fantastic in this one, so... Whoever shot this video, props to you, because everything looked, looked absolutely amazing, you know from the band performing, from, you know, just some of these shots at the singer at the front man, just, you know, staring at you, basically, and, you know, all the story elements, and everything looked freaking amazing, man. And yeah, also the Danger Noodles. <laughs> and, you know, I also love those landscapes, not entirely sure where it was shot, but maybe somewhere in China, but it looked really beautiful, you know, beautiful yet dark, it had this, you know, horror creepy vibe to it, and it really fit with the song, you know. And the song itself was quite a lot, you know, a lot to process in just one go, because it's 10 minutes where, you know, the metal music meets folk music, Chinese folk music, I believe what this is. And, you know, you have tons of instruments probably some traditional instruments, definitely some traditional instruments that were used in this song, you know, some string instruments uh, in the beginning and somewhere in the middle and, you know, sometimes they just let these instruments breathe by themselves and they just add, or whoever wrote this song, and I believe maybe it was the frontman, I'm not entirely sure, maybe it was the whole band, but sometimes they let these instruments traditional instruments breathe by themselves without vocals and they they just add this orchestra to you know get this epic you know musical not musical but movie soundtrack kind of feeling that I had throughout this whole thing like if there was a movie about like Chinese warriors and something like that this would just fit it like a frigging glove man I was maybe hoping a little bit that they would mix you know actually mix together the folk and metal elements a little bit more like, you know, Elevati and bands like that, Corpy Klani, but they kind of separated it and it still worked, it was still very impressive. I was just hoping, you know, they would kind of put it together and, you know, maybe in some places, you know, it was metal with the folk influences or folk with some metal influences, but 
I never really felt that like these two genres like fully merged on this song if you know what I mean but it was still an extremely enjoyable experience and I just believe that this is not a song that you can you know completely get after just first listening I mean it's 10 minutes so it's kind of obvious that it's not something that you can process after f at first listen and you know when those heavier parts hit it kind of reminded me of you know the beginning rave of Sad But True but Met by Metallica or maybe even Rammstein a little bit and I gotta say the vocalist what is his name it was down here somewhere oh yeah it's blah 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 it's Chinese Cobra first of all his he has one of the most intimidating looks I've ever seen because when he stared into the camera and where I just I was just watching the video and I was like, oh man, please don't jump out of the screen and, you know, grab me by the throat because it was, it was that goddamn intimidating and that is awesome, you know, all the, uh, all the masks, you know, at the end there that the band wore were also really cool and I gotta say mad props, you know, to him because he had, you know, he brought so much to the table vocally, like you had, you know, crazy high notes, I don't know what, technique that was but you know he had some of those you know falsettos in there screams growls shouts throat singing so much stuff god damn it this guy is really talented and he definitely loves his danger noodles and his tattoos and his tattoos are absolutely amazing if i met this guy randomly on the street I would probably just bite into a tree and pretend that I'm a stick. And one more thing that I wanted to mention is that I want to give my thanks to whoever produced this song and, you know, did all, you know, all about the sound and this kind of stuff because everything, even, you know, the, the Chinese traditional instruments, everything sounded so great. And when you have so many instruments in one song and, you know, with these very you know extreme vocals then you gotta have someone who can you know put it together real well and make it sound good and whoever did this did a great job so mad props to whoever mastered makes this song amazing job all right guys so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed my reaction to voodoo kung fu mongol official music video now i actually already forgot who requested this and it was vermin so vermin uh if you didn't already throw my channel into your trash folder uh thank you for your request and if you see this video then i'm extremely sorry it took so long but you know i'm just a dumb dumb and things happen life happens and that is how it ends so there is that but i still hope all of you guys have enjoyed this video if you did consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff because as you know there is always more videos coming your way and if you feel like talking to me outside of youtube there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what i do here and what i do here either by paypal or on patreon so guys again thank you so much for watching thank you voodoo kung fu for creating this really really interesting song and i will see you all in the next video so have a nice day evening night or whatever you have right now cheers